Let's go! <laughs> Lenny, what's your name? <laughs> I'm for this guy. You said Lenny, what's your name? name. <laughs> you say it too well. It's the most spectacular man on internet radio. Y'all yeah, know how I do, Mr. 1080 KUI. Yeah, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about you sometime, man. Yo, yo, yeah, yo. I don't know whether you're gonna say your name. I don't know if you're gonna forget it or miss it. Yeah, yo, yeah like, you know, it's like I'll be having to build up. I'll be forgetting sometimes. You know, I'll be forgetting. You know, I, 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 I am. I, I do have to remind people who I am. That comes with age, though. You know. Like yeah, I, I forget. I, I think they, they they know me already, but it's sometimes I forget. Sometimes I forget. But yeah. So we got a special guest in the building. To my left, gonna introduce yeah. yourself to the people. What's going on, everybody out there? This is Lenny Williams. I'm the CEO of Design by Law. Pretty much creating a mind without borders. Okay. Dope. 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 I like oh, Design I like by Law. Without borders. So right. you know we do an elevator ride with each guest. I had a dope slam once. Oh. If something like that. What is it? I forgot. I I'm, take, not I'm, I'm not a rapper. I'm not a rapper. Yeah, I'm not a rapper. Yeah, it's coming soon, right? Yeah, I'm not a rapper. T-shirts coming soon. Well, thanks for <laughs> that the was thing saying. Thanks, yeah, thanks for thanks for the thanks. Yeah, for, yeah I, I reminded you. T-shirts coming soon. Yeah, I reminded you which your slogan was. T-shirts coming soon. All right. <laughs> Somebody said Keys always seemed like he in his own world. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. So on this elevator ride, you know, give us, uh, you know, from the bottom to you know how you got where you are now and started what, from the bottom told yeah you. yeah yeah look told you from the bottom um well pretty much um the reason why i started this business is that uh i was a counselor at a college and i was seeing a lot of youth especially african-americans hispanics uh, whatever the stereotypes that's out there was, was starting to be true and a lot of kids weren't taking education seriously i mean not to say that you can't have fun you can't listen to hip-hop i mean I, I do that but you gotta have a balance in your life so i figured it out where i was going to do motivational speaking um, going out there and giving back to the youth, and probably in the last 12 months, I probably spoke at over 100 schools, um, doing over 100 different programs of financial aid, um, how to beat the odds, some of the things I went through, because I wasn't a great student in high school, you know, being from New Jersey, I failed state testing and all the things that people say you can't get a degree with, and I'm two classes away from getting my master's degree. Mm -hmm. So it, it can happen, you know, I'm just out there trying to make a change and just giving it back. So that's it for right now, and then eventually, Three to five years from now, I'm making a whole empire with fitness, fashion, everything on a positive level. I'm just tired of all the, just pretty much all the negativity that's out there for our, for our race. That's what's up, all right, man. All right. So, so you think you could save that generation that uh, they was just told we was just talking about earlier? I, I think we can. I think we all can. You know, I think that everybody should give back. You know, whether it's five minutes or five years. You know, only kid, the only thing that kids really want is attention. Let's just be honest. So, if you give them a little bit of attention, you let them, you know be who they are at the same time as listen, listen out. A lot of kids don't have parents or one parent, you know, if we give them that attention and we can make a change. I mean, if we sit back and say we don't want to make a change, then it's not going to happen. But we can't, it's not, they're not dead. That youth, that, that age group is not dead. They're not, they're not the social type. They go online first. But, you know, once you get to talk to them, you break them out of that mold and tell them to create their own lane, man, they could be successful just like us. Well, you know, I dope. definitely agree. But, um, hey, dope, dope. I, I think mean, it's I, a dumb deal with them niggas. Yeah, I, I mean, honestly, <laughs> I like, yeah, I, I, I wanna, <laughs> yeah, I ain't yeah, wanna yeah, be, yeah. I ain't wanna, I, I ain't wanna. I think I it's too late for them. I ain't, I ain't wanna rain on this parade, but. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I, I mean, yeah, like, I, I'm speaking, you know I'm spoken to. I, 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 I think, I think the youth for nowadays, like you know, this generation is kind of like they, 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 they're more, they're more takers. Like they, they willing to take whatever you willing to give. You know what I mean? So, uh, meaning like. Yeah, they're, they're they, not they, grinding. They're freeloaders. Yeah, yeah, they're not grinding. So to speak. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, they don't, they, they don't like to go get. You know, yeah. they want to go get, but they don't go get. Yeah, they don't know how to. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the youth, they got a defeatish attitude. Mm -hmm. you yeah. Know, once, once they fail one test, it's like the end of the world. Mm -hmm. But again, if we have the educators out there, the people out there to keep pushing them, and they can see themselves in the other people. You know, a lot of times, a lot of you see older men or older women that don't look like them or look like the, a mother figure, but if they see somebody that looks closer to the age of somebody they can look up to, that's when they start, you know, believing in themselves. So that's why a person like myself is just trying to be out there and uh, let them know it's just like them. Well, well, let me ask you, what, um, what um, type of people do you mostly see them? Like, as far as, like, like this, is it all? Like, you say, do they have categories? Like, you know, I mean, like, as far as, like, what race? Like, is it pretty much, is it all races? I, I speak to all students. It doesn't matter. But I'm not going to lie that I really love working in the inner city the most. Because, you know, typically they need it more than anybody right now. Like I said, again, 
you know, I'm not gonna lie about the stats. A lot of parent, you know, single parent homes, or like one girl I met that lost her mom, her adopted mom, and just didn't have nobody. You know, one kid I'm helping right now that's homeless, 17 years old, working um, just to provide for himself to go to college. So I like talking more to the inner city. I kind of relate to that. I mean, my mom, she, not the, my mom, she do the foster parent thing, so she get kids, you know, off and on every periodically, like different children that don't have their parents. So exactly. Well, it's funny because I was looking in the chat, right? And um, that's what's funny. Nah, <laughs> it's funny to me because Nick, you know, shouts to Nick in the chat. He said, what's going on, dude Nick? with the bow tie looks like Carly Coke. He looks like Nick Farley from the Detroit Lions. Ah, I got jokes now. <laughs> and now, as you was talking, he said, damn, designed by law is my hero. I feel what he's saying. My teachers always said I was a loser. Now I'm three classes away from uh, getting my bachelor's. That's it, man. Nah, that, I, 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 you know what's crazy? It, it's fucked up, but you do have teachers out there like that. I actually had a, t- a teacher that told me I never amount to anything in college. Damn. It's crazy. In so, front of my girl at the so, time. <laughs> let me, let me, let me, yeah, um, nah, he, he straight played me. He tried to rip me. You know, we got to the point. I didn't I didn't give him no rebuttal. I just was like, all right, man. You know, <laughs> the class got up and got mad and stuck up for me. Like, like, what the fuck, man? You going to sign to her? Yeah, I just, I just sat back, you know, cool as I could be. And see, the thing is, when you're a teenager, you don't understand the root of that. You know, me being grown now, I speak to certain schools, and the teacher come up to me and said, I inspire them to do more than just be a teacher. And a lot of people just be teachers, just, you know, no offense out there, just to have summers off. With a paycheck. Or to see the good benefits, you know, and it's deeper than that. You're almost, you're almost an, another parent to them. Let's just be real. So, that's that again, that's my point to be out there and defeating the odds. I mean, my English teacher told me I wasn't. I wasn't going to get a college degree. You know, now I'm two classes away from getting an MBA degree. There's <laughs> probably only 10% of African-American males in the world, in the U.S., with an MBA degree. So, shout-outs to him. Yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> word, word, word. So, um, you know, like, what? how do you feel about people, you know, like, Rel and, 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 and Keith said this generation is shot. Oh, I thought you were about to say something else. <laughs> <laughs> nah, how do, you, <laughs> how do you feel about Rel and Keith? So, how do, you, how do you feel about when people say that? Like, how does that make you feel? What, what do you want to say? What do you, what do you say to them? To people who just be like, nah, man, you bugging, that generation's done, wasting your time. You know, honestly speaking, you know, that that's why I'm trying to take my website to the next level where you can see students and, you know, just to put a little shameless plug out there, I'm actually doing a documentary now where you see students that I helped from one point that was acting a certain way to moving forward. And, you know, I can show them that, listen, if you put a little bit of time in, whether it's five minutes or five seconds, you know, you can change their life. I tell people all the time, man, if I see a kid sagging down the street, I'm going to turn to pick his pants up, whether I know him or not. You know, there's no need for you to sag your pants. Okay, Lil Wayne sagged his pants, but music is an art. You know, he's he, that's Lil Wayne. He's supposed to do that. He's an art. He's an artist. You're not. A, you want to be representing. You know what you want to do. So little stuff like that can help. You know, pick your pants up. You know, watch him out. That's what our generation. That's what our parents did. You know, they had the community parents. You know, if you act up on the block, <laughs> you will get a beating by the neighbor that's six that, six blocks away, six houses away. So, you know, that's okay, so can, just I think can, about it. I, yeah. I, I, I well, how, how do you communicate with those that's, all right, let's say that's on it, on the internet all, all day, every day? See, it's like, again, you don't see them personally, like, you don't see them physically. So, it's, it's again, how, how do you communicate with those, you know, that's like, that's, social, that's socially removed? I mean, with my business, for example, with the website I'm, I'm launching, um, designmylaw.com, I'm doing Skype sessions. So, if you're a student in, in, in California, I've done Skype. Relax, man. I've had a few sessions. Relax. But yeah, if you if you want to Skype with me as a mentor, you know, you show me your grades and I've been a mentor on Skype before. I've, 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 I've showed him a few things. This guy's crazy, man. <laughs> That's what she losing the AT. I got to take a picture now. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, know, you know this fresh from Mondays, right? I saw it good, so, man. You know, it, 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 we, we, you know, we like we have our moments. We like to laugh. But it's all good. But man. go ahead. Yeah, like I said, we're gonna do more like a, a Skype session, chat session. You know, so students can can relate. Again, you wanna you, you know, yes, our generation is different. Their generation, same thing with our parents. But sometimes you gotta do some of the things that they do just to get on their level. You know, there's certain speeches I bring up Chief Keith, or I say Chief Keith Lurk. And I'll mess up on purpose, and students will correct me, and I'll get at them. It's a setup, you know. But you got to dumb yourself down almost to get to that level, but then bring them back up. You know, it's so crazy. that's why I want to do like the Skype and the tweet and the Instagram, to, so they can they can follow that movement, the positivity. I learned that in high school. I, I, that's why I never fall for that stuff. 
<laughs> messing up on purpose. I don't say shit. <laughs> like, 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 like one time I had, I see this over and over again. Like one guy, he came to the school one time and he was trying to be, you know, he's, he's being a mentor and all that. He was like, like Will Smith. That's the he orange like, and blue book, man. He was like, <laughs> he was like, I got money. I got $5. Who wants it? <laughs> and then, you know, I get he, the way he said it, he's like, go get it. Whatever you want something, go get it. But he really meant go on the stage and go take the money from his hand. And everybody was like, am I supposed to go up there? I, like, so after I seen what happened, every time I see a mentor, I always be like, you know, halfway out my seat like, to get ready to dart up there. Because I already know what kind of flip I'm going to do onto the stage. Yeah. You know, so. Well, that's why you got, that's why they disguise themselves, right? Nah, that's why I need like, lunch I mean, money. Because, like, you know, that was at that time. Like, yeah. in high school, I need, I need lunch money. I was like, yo, he gonna, he gonna do it. This is him. He gonna, I know what he gonna do. <laughs> well, these days, the mentors, I'm just saying, they disguise themselves. They won't tell you that they're mentors. You, you know, that's why. Yeah, like, he, he, he'll come in like this. Gift wrapped. Yeah. He, he, <laughs> 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 this guy, Ricky Williams, is crazy. Oh, good. Um, like, but, he just came out of a box, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> That means two things. Pause. <laughs> nah. Designed by Law in the building for those who just tuned in. Yo, yo, explain the name. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I think it's, I think it's interesting. Yeah, Designed by Law pretty much is Law is my initials, Lenny Andre Williams. And only, only you can design yourself. So Designed by Law is pretty much, that's how I came up with the name. It's like Carl Otis Winslow. Yeah, nah, 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 that was dope. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I, I, I thought Cow. that. Yeah. It's like I didn't know where like what it actually stood for. I was like designed by law. I was like, yo, that's, that's dope. dope though. Like, yo, I, I never knew that. Yeah, I was like, yeah, that's dope. Nah, well, I, I never knew your name. Your, your I didn't know name. for a long time. <laughs> I didn't know for a long time, and then I I just was like, oh, that's just a name that he just came up with for because he's doing design clothing and stuff like that. But talk about that. I mean, you know, back in the day with, with your clothing. Yeah, before you know, shout outs to um, Pat and Chris, we had a clothing line for a few years, um, Dirty Backpack Crew. I'm about to say what the um, it, did, it, did, it did well. You know, I was able to start at 21, 22 years old, had a nice little run. And, you know, that's what gave my experience to tell the students, you know, how to have a, how to be a business owner and things of that nature. I mean, why did I become a business owner? I mean, when I went to school for my bachelor's degree, I got my degree in um, business management. And my third year, I received what they call the corporate scholarship in school for free for two years, became an account manager. Um, was traveling across the nation at 22, 23 years old. And again, I wasn't a smart kid in high school. I just, you know, worked hard. And then I decided to start with clothing line, and it went well for a couple of years. You know, crazy nowadays, people with big businesses are never smart. No. So it's, 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 it's a good thing. That's a snapple fact? No, it, it really snapple is. Snapple fact. I mean, uh, <laughs> it, like, it's statistics-wise, like, fact. you know, uh, they say that people, like, with the big corporate companies, like, their mind span is more mm -hmm. broader than the people that actually focused on school, get A's, straight A's, and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So the people with straight A's wind up working for the kids that kind of possibly dropped out or not saying that you should drop out of school, but possibly, you know, had these broad visions of what they want to do. Like, they, they, they experimented as far as, like, I'm going to try this, try this, try this, try this, try this, and they found things that work versus somebody who actually leveled themselves to go straight and... They want to work for them. I no, mean, that's, 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 that's true. Statistic. I mean, I always tell students all the time, either you can work for your dreams or work for somebody else's dreams. It's that simple. You yeah. know, so I even hit teachers with that, and they almost about to retire because I tell them that, but it's true. <laughs> you know, Damn. If you, want, if you want to be successful, you know, if you really want to be successful or you really don't want to look in the mirror and have to report to nobody, you know, it's, it's ways out there and there's routes out there, but people are not going to tell you that, especially your CEO or your boss because they need you. It's so coming you from our generation. Dreams or work for your own dream. So it's up to you. Now, with the clothing line, <clears throat> how far did the clothing line go and why did, why did it not go through? Uh, it, went, it went far. I think a lot of things was, we didn't have a, I'm telling right now, if we had an Instagram, I probably wouldn't be sitting in this chair. You know, Instagram is, is big. Back then, we didn't have that. We didn't have the, the resources that we, we thought we had. Um, but it did go pretty far. You know, we were able to work with artists like Lloyd, R&B singer. We were able to work with G-Unit Radio, um, G-Unit, G-Unit. We was able to be on a few online radio shows. You know, we was out there. We was out there enough. I actually seen an Instagram picture the other day with somebody with my sweatshirt on. So it's, it's still out there. And we, we did a good job. And we just we just let it go. We had different different ideas. And we went different ways. But we all, you know, we all still cool. And shout outs to them. Well, let me ask you, what's your opinion of, like, the, the dudes with the with the tights, with the rips in it? Yeah, I mean, being a fashion designer. You design, like, you design tight rips? Yeah, like, no, yeah, like yeah, with the spankies on. I'm not a fan of skinny jeans. I mean, I think the skinny jeans is for the females. 
but that's just my opinion. Take the you know, people, are, jeans people, off. Are trying to, <laughs> people are trying to wear skinny jeans, and I mean historically, you know, I don't want to get into historical facts or snapple fact, <laughs> but right? but um, a lot of dude, they it's almost especially for African American culture, they almost wants to wear tight jeans, and then they want us to be out of tight jeans, start sagging, and when you start sagging, start wearing skirts, and it takes away from our manhood. So it's something to think about and starting to do your, your history about oh, yeah. why you wearing tight jeans. Everything I wear in fashion, I look up. You know, bow tie the symbolism symbolism of power, for example. You know, of, of thought, power, things of that nature. You know, I wear stuff that means something. I don't just throw it on. It's always how I've been. So I'm not a fan of skinny jeans. I don't see the reason why. What about the Dwayne Wade suit? <laughs> no, 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 no. no comment. <laughs> what about the Russell Westbrook suit? No comment. <laughs> that, that, that's the generation. My boy's too West Coast for me. I don't know what's up So He's so, a good baller, though. Yeah. So what made you uh, decide to start Design by Law for the People? Let, let them know. What made you say, you know what, this is it. This is what I'm going to do. And so, I mean, what pretty much happened is me being a counselor, I was speaking at different schools, and I went from just speaking to five students to next, you know, 500 students and 600 students. And principals and guidance counselors called me in saying I was helping change in lives. So I said, you know what, I got to think of something. And no lie, I just started this business officially March 1st. Um, and since March 1st, I probably did over 50 to 60 programs already. And I'm invited to speak at two graduations this month. I have a couple other things coming up. And um, it's, it's just going fast. Everything's going fast, and it just I just did it. You know, like I tell people all the time, you want to be successful. There's no blueprint to this. There's no blueprint to start a business. Just do it. You know, you can sit around and think all day. The next thing you know, you're 40, 50, 60 years old, and you might be that educational teacher or whatever, <laughs> being miserable, putting somebody else down. So just do it. Just do it now. Yeah. Right, so just do it, Nike. Sidebar. <laughs> I got I got a rant about something I was a little upset about. I just thought about it. What's up? Why during election, right? <laughs> What's up? I don't know. Yeah, maybe y'all can explain this better than I What's can. What's up? Why during an election in Jersey City? What's up? Did they give JD Kiss the key to the city? In Jersey City? Yeah, I seen that. I I didn't understand that either. Uh, I, and I didn't look into it to try to find out. I just I guess to because he might have a bigger influence, like on like people from our but city. They gave him a key to our city, bro. I, I know, I, I know. It's like yeah. I, I, only only thing I could I could possibly say is because I I, got, I, got only, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I mean, it's like Joe, Joe Button was unavailable. I mean, bro. I don't I don't really knock. They gave him the key to the city. I don't really I don't really knock. Um, you yep. know, I'm giving it to Jado, his heart. I mean, this guy's been in the game since I was in middle school. Yeah. I'm a grown man now. So, you know, I will knock his hustle, his game, one of the best hip-hop artists ever, in my opinion. But so I think a lot of times with politicians and things we got to watch out for is that that's all they expect influence. from African-Americans. Yeah. Like, let's just be real. That's all they expect. You know, they don't... I'm looking to be a national motivational speaker straight up. I wanted to be creating my own lane. But all they expect from us is to be athletes and rappers or singers. And that's it. You know, that goes back to slavery times. Again, you know, no. box for the, for the headmaster. Mm -hmm. Again, no <laughs> disrespect to Jada Kiss. You're a phenomenal rapper. You're a phenomenal artist. You God, know, I <laughs> love your music. I love the locks, the old D-block music. Um, yeah. But I just didn't understand it. I thought it was something. Joe Button was unavailable. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's again, it's probably, it's probably to get well, at Joe, Joe, at Joe Button. He, he got one a couple yeah. years oh, back. Oh, yeah. he, he had one already. I yeah. Guess. Well, he got his back in like 2006, that's, that's, 2007, that's, back yeah, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who'd you supposed to get one every year? Yeah. <laughs> you know, one, one yeah. key, is, key is, is the same key, right? They don't change the locks, right? <laughs> they don't, they don't you know what? Locks. Yo, we, we should petition that. Well, we, we should get that. We should get the key to the city. <laughs> they don't change the big locks, right? Like, the, the locks are still the same. Yeah, uh, yo, you know what? Well, we from Jersey City. Why didn't we get the key? I should get a key to the city. Why not? Right? I think I deserve it. See? I've so, done things here. There we go, man. <laughs> like, you, you know what? You're right. So, uh, speaking, um, <laughs> speaking of af um, athletes, um, you was an athlete before. Yeah, I, I ran track back in high school, ran it for a year, and um, in you college. black? <laughs> Say that again? You black? Like regular black? Yeah, I'm black. <laughs> oh, right, no. Nah, nah, because most people that ran track, I mean, I, I've, I've done track too, but I'm just saying, like most people that I knew that ran track, they was like Caribbean or something. Man. Nah, oh, I, I ran. <laughs> I saw a lot of Africans <laughs> on the track. I ran, I ran hurdles. Oh. I did the long jump. Yeah, that was um, some African shit. See, they 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 they, they did some, <laughs> they did some I was, shit I was, like I was that. I'm a pretty decent athlete. I still still got a little game on the court, you know, to play ball. I ran track. No, I ran, I ran track. I had, no, but I, I had to run track because I played football, so it was, it was different. We, we had to do a lot because we played football. Yeah. 
Nah, I ran track. <laughs> Yo, also, man, shout out to my cousin Derek in the chat, man. I see you. Oh, what up, Derek? All right. Derek. All right. Yeah, shout out to everybody in the chat right now. If y'all got questions for Design by Law, put those questions in the chat. I did see a chat there. Somebody asked, where are you from? Um, you know, since I know you personally, I answered. I shouldn't have did that. But okay. for the people that just tuned in, tell them where you're from. Uh, I'm from Linden, New Jersey, um, right there in Union County by Elizabeth, Newark area. They got Haitians out there. Um, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, we, <laughs> I, well, hey, let, let, let me ask, yeah, let me ask you this. Just to clear that up. As far as um, a motivational speaker, you would call yourself, correct? Yes. Okay. What do motivational speakers listen to? What do motivational speakers listen to? I like mean, as listen, far as music? As far as I listen to everything. Again, like I said earlier, music is <laughs> an art. <laughs> you know, music is an art. I don't, you know, I don't not what to change and everybody do. It's an art. They work hard at it. You know, I'm not a, I'm still a young guy. I listen to that stuff. I still nah, go out. Just, but the point is, yeah. it's an art. I'm not going to, there's people that went to jail over an art. There's people that went to jail over a lyric for 25 years. That's just not me. I'm not going to go outside and bust my head open because Jada told me to bust my head open. You know what I mean? It's an art. It's just them, you know, venting almost. I've opinion. sent quite a few people to jail. I'm not, you know, I'm, <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was a heavy group back then. I mean, like, yeah, for real. No, quite seriously, a few people got hurt over that song. Yeah, wild out. You know, yeah. wild out, wild out. A few again, people got to, hurt in the club about that. I listen to everything. I think the most influential thing I listen to right now is um, TED Talk conferences. God damn it. Who's that, man? That's like an old Nextel ring. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and you had a Star Tech. Star Tech. Oh, no, no, that's, that's Green a, screen. That's, that's iPhone. Sorry, so iPhone. It's like you, a Game iPhone. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> like a microwave. <laughs> He's waiting for his moment, boy. Yeah, nah, nah, I, do, I do have you humor in my motivation. It. 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 <laughs> it's all good, it's man. Cool, cool. You, you get yours. Oh, God, man. <laughs> that was for the sock joke earlier. <laughs> but, uh, no, it's cool. You got it. You got it. <laughs> you said you was listening to TED. Um, Ted. Yeah, TED Talks is a very powerful conference. I mean, that's why I wanted. It's on my bucket list to actually get on there in the next three to five years. Um, this is definitely something that all youth, anybody should check out. It's definitely influential. It's motivational. These people out there putting out, you know, positivity. That's something I listen to often and help me in my, my speeches and things of that nature. It's an app for that, right? It's an app for that, yes. Yeah, okay. Sir. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you're not, because I've heard of it. I've heard of it. You know, I, I know a couple of people that actually listen to it. Yeah, we got to. Don't be them people that go on YouTube, watch 10 Minutes Illuminati, if you don't think they know everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah this yeah. guy right here. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. I don't know nothing. I, I, but, I, ain't, I ain't off that Illuminati shit. <laughs> but um, we got a question in the chat. Um, said, um, I just applied to the mailing list. When will the site be up and running? That's from Bright Eyes. Oh, uh, no problem. Shout out to um, Bright Eyes. Um, it should be open and should be up in the next 30 days. The thing is, I'm releasing my website, which what I brought up earlier is my 10, minute, 10 to 15 minute mini documentary that's coming out about me. So we're gonna do it all in one, probably have a party and have a good time and bring a lot of people out there, hopefully a few politicians and things of that nature. Question. What type of clothes do you design? Like I mean, like do you do you make do you make rib jeans? Currently now I don't design clothes anymore. Um, but previously I should just do like T shirts and sweatshirts, things of that nature. I don't make no rip jeans, bro. <laughs> I don't want no tie dye jeans, whatever these kids wear. I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Leopard print? Nah, I don't want no, I don't want no cool ox need them, man. <laughs> for the grandmothers. <laughs> well, I tell you what, let's get into some, let's take a quick break. Let's get into some music for, you know, real quick. Um, yeah, what we got, Lado? What we got? We got Bobby Stone. If there was two of me. Nah, yeah, I didn't know. We stopped that. Uh, you said what? Oh, actually, yeah. Let's get um before we get into some music, let's actually get into um you know the your documentary introduce what what we have on youtube right now that's actually on your website oh currently i just did a little preview video um out in north new jersey with one of my closest friends since kindergarten we just did a little quick preview video before my documentary it's um called ambition i think you should check it out it's about two minutes long all right let's get into that and then now uh, we're gonna get into if there were two of me by bobby stone and Word. Um, then what, what else we got after that i got, I got it <laughs> just one more after that i got i got i got i got the list bro <laughs> You guys over there, man. You ain't even got your glasses on, bro. <laughs> we got Cortez featuring Misfit. Uh, Loaded. All right, let's get into those. We'll be back. That's coming on after the Bobby Stone, if there were two of me. And, joint. And and the, once again, the documentary by Lenny, designed by Law. We'll be back. 15mofeet.com, Freshman Mondays. Unratchet. <laughs> let's go. mofeet.com, Freshman Mondays. 
That was Rel's best impression of note music. <laughs> oh, that's what it's called? Yeah. I, I, I never note knew the music. name of that. It's called yeah. Note Music? Yeah, Note Music. That's the name of that track? Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's Note Music. That's kind of like... That's racist, right? <laughs> <laughs> City racism. Yeah. What was that? I Rule the World? If I Rule the World? Yeah, that's what I thought that was, was that? too. Nah, 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 that was that? <laughs> <laughs> Jodeci. Nah, that was a wrap it up song. <laughs> That was a oh, that was a wrap it up commercial. That's yeah. new. Yeah, 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 a, uh, yeah, yeah. Condom commercial. Yeah, yeah. All right. You yeah. rushing us? Yeah, what's up? Okay. Yeah, cause, cause what? Nigga? Got designed by Lloyd. <laughs> oh, 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 that's why we rushing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, designed by Lloyd. Yeah, you know. So yeah, uh, shouts to um, Bobby Stone. There were two of me. What else we played, bro? Oh, nigga, um, we played Cortez featuring Misfit Loaded. And um, we had that design by law uh, introduction video up. So, yeah. Right. Um, uh, Bobby Stone got an event coming up too, right? Yeah, Bobby Stone actually, not a, necessarily an event. He just partnered with Forbes DVD. Okay. Shouts to Forbes DVD, MREC, Forbes um, Angel. Uh, they uh, they was all in the building before, so mm -hmm. they came real deep back door. That's Forbes from Forbes. Smack, right? Yeah, um, not from nah, Smack, but they, yeah. he, a lot of people, I think they used to run together back in the day, but the whole back door movement, pause. Shouts don't, to don't, them. don't, don't, don't. Because that might not be true. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. But I, like I said, um, Forbes, Bobby Stone partnered with Forbes DVD, and um, he has a promotion going on right now. So make sure you follow him um, at Bobby Stone Music on Instagram and all of that. And, um, you know, join his mailing list and find out more about it. But he has a partnership to help artists um, get heard. So he's, he's doing a new old school. Um, it's, it's the new old school. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, the old new school. No, new old school. The new old T -N -O -S. school. T-N-O-S. The new old it's an old yeah. and new school together. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> I'm older, so. It's the, the old new school. The new old school. It's the new, new old school. school. TNOS yeah. is hashtag. See, yeah, just it. go Instagram, hashtag TNOS, you'll find Bobby Stone. But yeah, so back to Design by Law. We got Design by Law in the building for those who what just up, tuned in. Yeah. And um, talk about some of the different uh, people that you spoke with, some of the people that you've worked with so far. Um, uh, yeah, no problem. Uh, I know one of the main people I spoke with is uh, Jay Morrison, celebrity realtor. Shout outs to him, Nigel. Um, they got the whole YMC movement, Young Millionaires Club. They're doing a lot of positive things. I know Jay Morrison had over 200,000 views on Worldstar for a positive video, which is amazing. Um, he's out there. He's a celebrity realtor. He no, has a no, 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 like four. positive shit. I spoke to him. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's crazy. Um, no, I'm, I'm actually serious with that. I think this like, guy wants me to motivate him live or something. <laughs> no, I'm not a rapper. I'm freestyle. Oh, no, nah, I was actually giving you a compliment. I was giving you promotion speak as a compliment just oh, now, wow. but you know, you know, you're going to take it that way. I mean, <laughs> nah, but I, 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 meant it, I meant it as like, you know, nobody wants to hear nothing positive no more. Like, nah, it's crazy that he it. had 200, 200, you just said over 200,000 views for a positive, you know, no, nah, you're, absolutely, you're absolutely right. Man. Yeah, it's, like, it's, it's tough. It's, it's, it's tough for somebody to have somebody that on World Star, you know. And now his other videos probably like 100,000 views and like a day. But a shout-outs to him. Shout-outs to Zane from Harlem. I know you might be tuned in. He's another guy who wrote a book about black statistics. I am also spoke with Ash Cash, who was a you know, self-proclaimed financial guru. He has a book out right now for everybody that's trying to get their FICO score up, 12 steps to repair your FICO score. Um, these are the type of dudes that I'm pretty much running with and, and speaking with. And also, I meant to say earlier, shout-outs to um, BDOT from Skybox. For uh, putting that video together for me earlier as well. All right, all right. All right. So, what are some of the topics that you that you discuss in like some of your like in, in your workshops? I think one of my main topics now, being an MBA student for marketing, is branding. Um, I try to teach the students how to brand yourself. You know, I ask the students all the time, "Are you Kmart or are you Nordstroms?" You know, and it's something to think about. When you think of Kmart, you think of cheap. You think of all negative things, but when you think of Nordstroms, you think about how people just come up and help you. Um, how the customer service is just there. And you want to treat yourself that way no matter what your goal is, whether it's biology, science, things like this. I do like the, the uh, thing on branding. I also do workshops on financial aid, how to go to college. A lot of people don't believe they can go to college, how to break the cycle within your family if you're a first generation. You know, both my parents, my mom was blessed enough to get an associate. Shout out to my parents too, I know they tuned in. But um, my mom was able to get an associate's degree. My dad wasn't able to go to college because he came from a single mom. So. You know, these are the type of workshops I'm doing out here. It's pretty much motivation, financial aid, how to go to college, how to go to community college route, everything. You know, all in one of how to how to be successful. So, so let's just say I, I see you doing workshops. 
let's just say somebody just wants to do like an individual mentor and say say Ralph for instance he like he, he wants you to <laughs> he wants you to mentor him <laughs> like right now is, is, is that possible yes um, I'm actually mentoring a lot of students I don't have one set of adult. actually I'm not actually have an adult you know start a business so I'm able to do that too entrepreneurship and stuff like that but right now I help students I know I met a student recently who had uh, as low as a, a 35 on their uh, final grade for one of their classes. And the last marking period, they was one class away from being on the honor roll. So I'm working with students like that and just and just building them one-on-one. There's no set way. I mean, everybody's different. So Some people need to hear some things or other things. So. Question. This is one of the questions I wanted to ask earlier. Um, with the mentor, how do you decipher the difference? Like, what what, what do you determine, like, helps the helps – the, the, is it just students or is it just anybody? Anybody. All right. So what, what, what do you think determines what that particular kid needs that child, I should say, that that child needs, like as far as like, you know, some kids might just need motivation, but some kids might need more as far as like, I don't know, school or, you know, anything. Like, how, how do you determine that? Um, well, pretty much, I, I always ask every student the same question, do you want to be successful? And um, everybody usually answers 99% of the time. I have one student say no, and I had to help them out a lot. But um, I find out how, how much they want to be successful. Then I usually go and say, "What do you? What is your dream job?" And then I usually take it from there. Like I said, and then I let them either speak to people that's in that field. For example, I had a couple college students I wanted to be in, in corrections. I spoke, had them speak to people that's in corrections already, because it is true. Seeing is believing. I know it's a, a corny phrase. Everybody say it, but seeing is believing. I try to show them by speaking to them and seeing physical people do the same thing that they're doing from the same background. All right, so what about somebody that's not, you know, like a child that's not really worried about the success? They're more, they're more like drained, like mentally. Like they're hurt mentally or something, or they're having problems at home or okay. something well, like that. Well, what I usually let them do is I let them vent to me. Now, I'm not no expert. I'm not a psychology major. If it's very deep and it's something psychological, I'll recommend them. I'll motivate them enough to get help. If they don't want the help, I can usually help them before they can get the help. You know, I'm just blessing that in that, in that aspect. And, you know, I just try to keep them motivated and I'm telling you all students really need is attention no matter what what's wrong with them they're lacking the, the attention because teachers tell them oh you can't do it you can't do this so that's 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 just my route I take I know somebody else you spoke with that you didn't mention oh this guy right here <laughs> first one did. I spoke with Shameless I spoke with plug. this guy um first one that we speak at a lot of them actually he was just at Staten Island on Friday shout out to Curtis High School I know the kids are watching from there but um, you know, we, we do the, we do we do great things, you know, and this guy's a great help to me. Appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see, you see the uh, pat, shame, pat on my own back. Shameless plug. <laughs> nah, I was just saying you spoke to somebody else, you know. Yeah. You know. I mean, but now we do this. Uh, it's his it's show, often. nigga. It's often. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot. You know, I was just, you know, I just wanted to make sure he people knew who he spoke. With. We talk about you all the time. <laughs> like, you, you always bring that shit up. Let him talk about what he's doing. Yeah. I, can, I can't. I can, no, I, nigga. Right, cool. <laughs> yeah, this guy. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> yeah, but nah. Um, now it's, it's, just, just it's, let him know next time, though. Let him know. Yeah, no, this is my show, man. <laughs> See, he's on the, like last week with Nerve A. Like, yo, I'm about to send my music up. <laughs> this guy. Like, yeah, I got like, to. Yo, yo we got to win. <laughs> yeah, now nah, you know that was uh, that was the humor of the situation. Oh, that was humor. Yeah, uh, both that times. Was funny. Yeah, I thought it was funny. Ha! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> nah, nah. Shall, I, shall I explain what that was? No, was ha! Cool. It scared me a little. Bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, little that was a, that was a laugh. That, that was right. my laugh. All right, it hurt me. Hurt my feelings a little bit. All right, but yeah, man. Signed by Lawrence in the building. Hey, well, we had a topic earlier. I don't know if if you heard. Well, you was sitting right there, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we was talking about yeah, you know, finding well, finding women. Okay. Yeah, you know, is we it, talk about bitches during that. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. We getting ratchet. We right got now. we got female in the building. Let me yeah, check. We'll, I, I don't want to do it in front of. Like, I, 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 I told y'all. See, I told you I don't like that word. No, I like the word. I just don't. It. I just don't call bitches. In, I mean, I just don't call them that in front of their face. Yeah. I'm saying I, I, I say behind their back. I talk about them all day and call them bees. Different, oh, <laughs> different types of bees. So. Uh, so I it, call them bees in good ways sometimes. I do. That's just me. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I, I see the fact that you got to filter it sometimes. That's why I don't like saying it. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. But but the topic was pretty much. Is this the best time to find a hometown bitches? 
And I, let, me clean, let me clean it up, man. The post on Instagram pretty much said, yeah. you know, if you're looking for a wifey in your city right now, it's the best time because all of the hoes is in uh, Vegas or uh, Miami. How you feel about that? I mean, I, I already have no no feeling towards that. I mean, some I mean, people. Do you agree with it? Do I agree with it? No. A person that probably made it was the girl that was trying to go to Vegas. Couldn't afford it. That's what I think. You think she was at risk at one point? Oh, so you like? <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna say you, so you a glass half full type of dude. Yeah, that's it, man. Oh, all right. Well, you know, I, I, I was thinking she was a hoe, but yeah. you know. Well, let, let me ask you: do, like, do you think the people that's there are they were they at risk children? Were they at risk children? Nah, man. I don't think everybody that was. I mean, I know a couple females that went. You know, I don't think they they hoes. You know, it's just. They had hoish like qualities. <laughs> it is what it is, man. <laughs> That's all I can say, man. It is what it is. I mean, my, my goal is to, with me, what I'm doing right now is for women to not be, feel like they got to be disrespected. I mean, you know what you are. You mm -hmm. know, you are what you eat. And if you are going to be that way, be happy in that way. That's you. Don't complain when somebody calls you that if you're out there representing that. So that's yeah. how I look at it. Exactly. So that goes back to what you're selling, Nordstrom or. Yeah, whether you know or something, I mean, if you're going to Vegas, maybe you Kmart. Yeah, you bitches are old. Very convenient. Maybe you 7-Eleven. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Pick what you want. Damn. 7-Eleven. <laughs> maybe you want. God, quick chat. Yeah. Open 24 I happen to like 7-Eleven quick chat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's because it's convenient. <laughs> I like convenience, though. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. I love microwaves. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are funny, man. Oh, oh man. man. But nah, nah, I, I don't necessarily see nothing wrong with the B word sometimes. I, I, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I mean, I, I, I was the type of dude that called anybody a B, man. Everybody got it. Everybody got it. Everybody got it. Everybody got it. Uh, I mean, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And don't don't think I'm, I'm bashing anybody that went to Miami or Myrtle Beach. It's like, because I, I wanted to go. <laughs> I didn't necessarily want to go. I really didn't give I, it damn. But see, they, they, they don't say nothing about the guys, yeah. once again. Yeah. You know, they don't say nothing about us. Yeah. So I guess because we we genetically hold. I think the only thing I have a problem with it is though, you know, on the positive side that the people that are posting it, and that's why I try to tell my students all the time, man, like stop stop falling into that trap. It's all minorities that's really posting that. We pretty much being crabs. We bringing ourselves down. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's, like I said, I, I like to have fun. Don't get it twisted. Like I go out, but the point is like you don't want to get into that crab mentality of posting that stuff, and we just pretty much defeating ourselves while the next man is getting it. Sidebar, you know, so. I got I got a vent again. <laughs> What's up with you chicks, right? And this thirst shit that that came up with, right? Y'all post all these ass pics, all these pictures of you wearing all types of shit. But in fact, I was following a porn star, right? <laughs> she probably was an at risk. Was <laughs> at risk youth. I was following a porn star, and and, and she does porns. You was right? fo follow her literally on Twitter. On Twitter. Oh, okay, okay. Nah, Clear I, that up. I wasn't stalking that one. You know, but um, she do pornos, and she's 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 pretty known, mm -hmm. and all she did was vent. So obviously she's not happy, but she loves what she does. So she say something like this one day: Every nigga I see always want, I always want to fuck. So what would you say to her? No, nah, I'm just saying though. Yeah. Let me let me finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I see something another day like, it's more to me. To then just to stat in the third, and then she post a picture of her like there didn't no this should say some <laughs> shit like this this should say some shit like this. Oh man, I had a great night. I'm drunk as hell. I just want to get fucked right now. But hey, I, I'm like, yo, really? This is the type of shit you want when you want somebody to respect you. But this is the type of shit you you, you put out there. Yeah. I mean, they call niggas thirsty. Or we just being we just being niggas. Now I mean, this is what we do. This is how we think. Or you know what I mean? But you on the other hand. You doing pornos, you, you know what I mean? You getting you getting bashed in the face and everywhere else, you know what I mean? Like I mean all types of hours in a day and, and you get mad at us for I can't speak for the the porn star. Again, that's an, and again I don't knock people hustle. I mean that's an art. Nah, again, it's a hustle. You know, you know I love it. But at the same is, time, be be you know Be your art. For real. I mean the thing, the thing <laughs> represent is, your art. The, 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 the thing art. is, um I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it out there like I told you. Oh, she you. was in Vegas by the way. She, <laughs> she was in Vegas. <laughs> He's crazy, man. I followed but her. I always what I, I always unfollowed her yesterday. I got mad, I got tired of the the the, 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 the emotional crazy, the emotional imbalance. 
Um, what I always what I always tell the students and adults, man, this guy's crazy. Man. This guy, shout out. Yeah, she's emotionally. Un- un- nah, un- nah. What I what I was gonna say is that um, I always tell people this all the time. You know, you go on my Instagram, it, it's my life. You keep your public life public and your private life private. You know, if you're not that porn star, because that's an art. Again, but if you want to be something and you want people to respect you, you got to put in what you want. You know, life is like a bank, man. You put. You put money in the bank, of course you're gonna go get money out. But if you ain't putting nothing in, you're gonna get nothing out. So if you put out that type of type of disrespect to your body or whatever, and you want people to respect you, who who's gonna buy into that? So I mean, that's just something to think about, man. Keep your public life public, private life private. Yeah. So no, it's kind of hard to keep pouring those. Well, let me like, well, well let me ask you this: Have you ever had have you ever had like any of your 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 at risk? Or let's just say anybody that you spoke to said, like, I want to be a porn star. You ever mentored a porn star? No, I had, I'm going to be honest, though. I had two girls that actually okay. admit that they want to be um, strippers. strippers and they yeah. open a strip club. Okay. And I, I kind of talked to them. Talked That's to pretty them, normal. That's and, now they, and now every time I come to their school, they're like, oh, my God, look at my grades. I'm going to college now. You know, it was just a tension. You're going to strip through you know, college. A lot I mean, of you got to pay for that stuff now. A lot, of people, a lot of people do things, again, and this goes back to what I said earlier, a lot of people do things just for attention, man. And that's what happens with the youth. So you let them say it, let them get it all out, and then you bring them down. Like, Listen, you sure you want to do this? Because these are the consequences. I blame Nicki Minaj. Nicki? <laughs> hey, man, music's an art, man. I'm telling you. That's all you got to look at it. <laughs> but it's also a culture. You know what I mean? Like, it's, a, it's something that, you know. Well, who culture? It, it depends, man. It's everybody's culture. It, it, well, it's <laughs> hip-hop. You know what I mean? It's hip-hop cultures at some point. So, you know, whoever's into that type of stuff, they kind of follow it. And, and they get easily influenced by it. So, so if you like the, if you like rock and roll, you supposed to jump off a curb into a mosh pit every day. Well, I mean, if it's there, <laughs> if somebody's there to catch you, why not? I might want to jump off a roof. Like, yo, stay right there. I'm about to come. I'm, I'm, I'm. <laughs> 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 that's that's funny though. But you know, I don't know. But it, it, that's that's just that's. What it is, it became yeah. a culture. It became an influence to, to the people outside. So and they, they and tend I'm to glad follow you, it. So I'm glad skinny you, jeans and I'm glad you brought that up because the whole point of me creating this business is to actually find a way for us to have a culture, a mm-hmm. positive culture. You know, okay. not say music is not a positive culture. You can take good things out of it. You know, Kendrick Lamar is one of the best albums I heard in a long time. Probably it is. molded me to start my business, honestly speaking. But again, not every song would have molded me into doing the sign by law. So my point is to change the culture. Um, Link up with people that are like-minded like me. You know, shout-outs to people like Brandon Frame and other cats out here that's doing great things, Jay Morrison. And link up with cats like that, and we all come together and create a culture. Instead of us just falling back on, oh, we're just going to be like, I don't know, ASAP Rocky. You know, shout-outs to him. I'm just saying, you know, Word. negative stuff that they're saying, not the positive. Word. Um, <clears throat> let's see. We got some, some stuff in the chat. Let's see if there's anything worth... Uh, uh, Bright Eyes said, saying uh, the rest of your stuff ain't worth saying. Yeah. No, Damn. No, I like Damn, he said it worth. Oh, <laughs> you, did, you did say that, though. No, I said if the, the stuff in the you chat is it. worth reading. <laughs> yeah, you heard it. Because there's some stuff in the chat. Sometimes it's just, you know, they just put in their paint. Sometimes it just ain't worth it. No, I got it. <laughs> I got you. Uh, somebody said, um, you know, Bright Eyes said, what if, and it's going back to the uh, to going to Vegas and Miami thing, what if she did with her man and a group of people? It's not the same thing. That's not the conversation. Yeah, but you're still in the same place that we, that, you know, people classify. Yeah, but y'all together, it's different. I think I think it was more leaning towards like you know, girls going by themselves. Yeah, in groups of girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Asking to leave, you know, leave the man up here. Yeah, pretty much home. away from your man. Yeah, now, what if you have said, a man? Well, away from. I mean, well, that's different. <laughs> no. Uh, now, now, if she just said something like, "Well, well what said- if her and a man went together, but they just separated with the day on thing?" You know. It, we all know what to expect out of that. But, you know, if I, you go somewhere with your girl, you're like, all right, baby, I'm going to see you uh, Friday. You got to get there Friday. I'm like, I'm going to see you Sunday. All right, cool. Later. <laughs> well, she said, okay. Well, didn't make that clear. <coughs> oh, it wasn't my topic. I didn't I didn't bring it up. He 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 he, he did that. My bad, my guys. I'm sorry. I'm, I'll try to make it clear next time. Yeah, I'm good. I was dying just now. <laughs> oh, no. Nah, because I was laughing, but I couldn't laugh. Yeah. Call for my arm, nigga. <laughs> Yo, shouts to um shouts to T Rav. T Rav um just dropped a project called Love and Reality. He's in the chat right now. Yo, shout out to Trav. Yeah, make sure y'all click that link, T-Rab, show him some what love. Up, what up? <laughs> T Rav is a real real positive dude, former engineer for fifteen minutes of fan radio. He just moved out to um 
Atlanta, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I thought it was North Carolina. Nah, North Carolina, Carolina, my North bad. Carolina, no. Yeah, hey, he's in Myrtle Beach. Yeah, I. <laughs> <laughs> T Rab, you ratchet, it. bro. <laughs> yeah, so shouts to T Rab, man. Make sure I check that out. Real positive dude, you know, always touching on um, real topics. So y'all don't have to worry about no ratchet that's coming from T Rab. Crazy thing, he, he's, he's actually the new youth. The new youth? Yeah, he's young. Yeah, he's, he's part of that. You said he's not going to make it. <laughs> but T Rab T Rab is a real T- positive dude. Like T Rab's the exception. I ain't say nobody's gonna make it. I just said, you know. You gotta put a you gotta put a dash in your name to to, to make it. Like T Rab did. Like Trav T dash. My name actually have a hyphen in it. Does that count? Well, T Rab said you front. So Who fronting? He said you front. I'm fronting. That's what he said. On what? And uh Bright Eye said you deserve an ass whooping. <laughs> and um, shouts to Ness in the chat. Why she said, "Proud why of why you, try, Lenny. Keep going." Why, why trying to hurt? Shout out to her. Yeah. Oh, T. Rabs in Greensboro. So. Greensboro. Right why, why do I deserve an ass whooping though? I guess she'll put that in the chat. But <laughs> in the meantime, um, you know, it's almost ten o'clock. We're about to get up out of here. But before we get up out of here, you know, last words to the people. Let them know what to expect from Design by Law, and you know, uh, just everything. No problem, man. Like I said, the documentary should be out in the next 30 days or so. Shout outs to Level 7 Films, LX and them. Shout outs to you guys. Um, also, the website will be released at the same time. We have a couple parties in between there, a lot of positivity. Hopefully, a few politicians, hopefully, a lot of major figures that we can all meet and greet and, and give back to our culture. You can also follow, find me online at designbylaw.com, Twitter, designbylaw, Instagram, the same, designbylaw. And also my YouTube channel, youtube.com, um, backslash you, um, Design by Law. So, you know, check me out, look me up. There's a lot of great things coming out. Shout out to my parents for checking in. You know, I love you guys. Shout out to my sister coming with me, Jasmine, you already know. And everybody else that checked in, Derek, my fam, and everybody else, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, you got a lot of love in the chat, man. T-Rap says shout out to Design by Law for your movement. So... Um, Appreciate it, T-Rap. Bright, Bright Eyes was giving you, uh, showing you love the whole time, too. Uh, so. Shout out to Bright Eyes. She said she's had a smart ass she, mouth. She actually, um, <coughs> she actually uh, subscribed to your mailing list, so that was dope. All right, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. Dope, dope, but, um, dope, dope. dope. That's nice. I'm, I'm going to read the, I'm going to take out the good Oops. stuff I want out the chat. And Bright Eyes said, love y'all, though. Y'all, you all keep me laughing. So, so I she's got a smart ass mouth. <laughs> she's tuned in almost every week, so y'all know. Yeah. You know, uh, she, she, we got a mean co-sign for her. We get her here every week, get y'all here every week. Make sure y'all tune in next week, 8 to 10, each and every Monday, Freshman Mondays. Yep. Uh, we also got the, uh, you know, the new show, 3 to Hallway, um, 7 to 8, with App Diggles, who was on with us earlier. So make sure y'all check that out. And all of our shows, just scroll down. You see them. We here. Y'all got anything to say? Man, bright eyes, fuck that. <laughs> I don't give a fuck how smart you think my mouth is. Hey, yo. You sound like Little Wayne right hey, now. Hey, y'all, I'm going to say this. Mouth, I don't give a fuck how smart you think my mouth is. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm keep it positive today. Yeah. Vegetarian should not be at cookouts. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> what if they have a vegetarian cookout? Uh, it's not a cookout. It is a cookout. It's a cookout for vegetarians. What do you eat? Vegetarian meat. <laughs> Chill, fam. <laughs> Chill. We'll be back next week. <laughs> See y'all next week. Make sure y'all they have it. I mean, they, they, they do it though, so you know. I, mean, I don't know. They they they, they have vegetarian cookouts. Y'all bugged out, yo. <laughs> I, I mean, I ain't a vegetarian nigga. I love all types of meat, but I'm just paused. Like I'm just saying, like. <laughs> Make they, sure they, they do it. Make sure you subscribe to Design by Law mailing list, designbylaw.com. We out here. Freshman Wednesdays, 15 morefeet.com. Get us, get at us on Instagram at Fresh. Shout out to the chat rebels. Yeah, chat Word. rebels. Peace. We out. HD, yeah, take us home no with uh, that cookout. What we, what we going home with? <laughs> Dutch Rebel. Dutch Rebel, Bean Town ish, Ramageddon, all my friends. My nigga. <laughs> Capricorn Life, T Rav, I see you, baby. All right. Peace. You got, you got kind of happy on that. Scorpios, you know I mean? baby. No, I got, I got Scorpios. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, I was yeah. there. I was I'm there. I'm a proud Capricorn. I'm a proud All right. Peace. We out. Fifteen minutes of fame. Let's go.